What's up, everyone? Hope you are doing well. Welcome back to Easy English Channel. Today we have a grammar lesson, and today's lesson is countable and uncountable nouns. First, we're gonna deal with the countable nouns. Look at this example. Those flowers look good. In English, nouns can be countable or uncountable. Countable nouns are things we can count. For example, a burger, a team, a banana, an egg, an apple, a sandwich. Countable nouns can be singular. They often have a, an, the, this, that in front of them. For example, where is the key? This apple is very hard. Countable nouns also can be plural. They often have some, these, those. For example, I'd like some oranges, please. Those flowers look good. Task 1. Choose the correct form. Is there a or some bank here? This or these are my friends, John and Michelle. Who lives in that or those house? Now let's check your answers. Is there a bank here? These are my friends, John and Michelle. Who lives in that house? Second, uncountable nouns. Look at this example. There is some rice. Uncountable nouns are things we can't count. They don't usually have a plural form. And a or an in front of them. We can't say three milks or a sugar. Two, two oils, a salt. This is wrong. Uncountable nouns have some in front of them. We can say, can I have a milk in my coffee? But, but we say, can I have some milk in my coffee? Uncountable nouns are always used with verbs in the singular. We can say, there are some rice, but we say, there is some rice. Also, we can say, education are very important, but we say, education is very important. Some common uncountable nouns are materials, for example, metal, wood, plastic, paper, food, we have bread, cheese, meat, meat, tea, coffee, sugar, ideas and feelings, advice, love, news, Education, information, groups of similar things, furniture, money, school subject and languages, for example, art, music, English, Spanish. Task 2. Which is correct? Do you have some advices for me? Do you have some advice for me or do you have an advice for me? Choose the correct one. I must get A or some petrol for the car. I haven't got a lot of money or 
monies. Which is countable: furniture, history, or chair? Which is uncountable? Cheese, market, men. Now let's check your answers. So the correct sentence is, "Do you have some advice for me?" I must get some petrol for the car. I haven't got a lot of money. The countable word is chair, and the uncountable word is cheese. Nouns that can be countable or uncountable. Can I have a glass of water, please? Some words can be both countable and uncountable depending on how they are used in the sentence. Countable meaning. Look at this couple of examples. Can I have a glass of water, please? The second one, I'd like two teas, please. Cup of tea between brackets. Here, if you remember that we said tea is one of the uncountable nouns, so it can be both countable and uncountable. The next one, there are three Russians in my class. People. The next one. Would you uh, like a chocolate? One pies between brackets. Here, chocolate also is one of the uncountable nouns. Now, uncountable meaning. Look at these examples. There is some broken glass on the pavement. Tea comes from Turkey and India. Drink. Do you speak Russian language? Fresh chocolate is very good. Food. So he we already said that drink, language, and food are uncountable, right? So those examples are just to show you that nouns can be both countable and uncountable. Ways of counting uncountable nouns. Uncountable nouns can become countable when the noun is a container or measure. For example, a bar of chocolate, a box of chocolates, a slice of bread, toast, and cake, a loaf of bread, a carton of milk, juice, a liter of milk, a bottle of water, a bed of information. What we see here that all the nouns become countable. The word chocolate we already know that it is uncountable, right? So here, but when uh, we add. A bottle, a bar, a box, a carton, those makes the noun countable. We don't use uncountable nouns with a or n. We can't say, can I have a bread? But we say, can I have a slice of bread? Also, we can't say, would you like a chocolate? But we say, would you like a bar of chocolate? Or would you like some chocolate? Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed learning with us. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.